Right, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to finish the second one and do it just slightly different. I can do it within the same family or separate. It just comes down to how you want to model it. So component, model in place, casework. Give it a name, kitchen island bench. Simple extrusion, rectangle. And again, make your length and width to match the information you've been given. I'm just doing this one by memory. I'm pretty certain it is. I'm clicking on the blue dot on my temporary dimension and moving this here. I'm pretty certain that's 1200. And that's 900. And where that one finishes, was it 2810? I think it was 2810, which lines up with that wall, so that kind of makes sense. Now this time, I'm actually going to make the extrusion start zero. And what that means, it'll just get a solid rectangular prism rising from the ground. But it's quite a good way at the early stages of just letting your client know, finish extrusion, finish model, of how the proportions of a kitchen might sit within a space. Can you see it kind of just blocks that out? So we don't need to think about the detail. You certainly don't want to be going into a detailing place without um, getting, you know, knowing for a fact that you're getting paid for it. So that's just two different options, and that way we can continue to come back and add more information and edit that one.